Um, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mick. And welcome to Bookmas. <laughs> I have never done Bookmas before. This is my first year participating in Bookmas and I am so, so excited. I just feel like as I've gotten older, I've kind of let myself give up on the magic of the Christmas season a little bit. It's just started to feel less magical as I've gotten older. And I think a lot of that is just that when you're an adult and when you have a job and you have a lot of things going on, it's so much easier to get wrapped up in that stuff. And then Christmas feels like condensed to like the three days around the actual holiday. And I just don't like that. I miss feeling so excited from literally December 1st for the holiday season. You know, I miss, I miss the magic of it. I miss, I mean, low-key, I miss like just being a kid, <laughs> but I feel like celebrating holidays and really letting yourself have things that you love and are passionate about and like catering those things as an adult is so important. And so that's why I'm so, so excited to be doing Bookmas this year because I feel like it's just going to be a lot of fun. I'm just really excited mostly to really be giving in to the Christmas of it all because um, I feel like I haven't done that in recent years. So that being said, we are kicking off Bookmas this year with getting into the holiday spirit, okay? We're basically going to be spending the day doing a bunch of festive activities that really set the tone for the rest of this holiday season, okay? So I want to get more decor for my house. My roommates and I actually set up our Christmas tree and our Christmas decor in the living room. I want to throw a few new things into the mix in terms of living room. I maybe want to get a pillow or two or a throw blanket, but also specifically, I really want to holidayfy my room. I want to Christmasfy my room, okay? Because something about my room just feels really summer to me. And I think honestly, it's my wall art above my bed. So that's not something that's like <laughs> exactly fixable at this exact moment. But I think if I got a new throw blanket and maybe just some like trinkety things for my bookshelf, I think that would really help it feel more easy festive in there so that's the goal at least for my room I want to pick up one holiday book today I'm gonna go like actual holiday book shopping at some point in the near future but there's one book that I've had my eye on that I know they have at Target and I want to go to Target for like decor purposes anyways so I want to get a copy of that at Target just because I know I'm gonna be in the mood for a holiday book very soon I'm not gonna start today because I'm in the middle of another book but I at least want to have it because I know the day is fast approaching when I'm gonna be like I want something fun and quick and cute and festive and that's really what holiday romance is are. <laughs> so I want to have one on deck, even though I know there's like a million on Kindle Unlimited. There's one that I've just had my eye on, but I just want to go ahead and get. So I think I'm going to. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I also want to do some kind of holiday kitchen activity. It might be baking or I might, I need to go to the grocery store just in general. So I might also, if I can just find like a cozy dinner recipe, like might make a soup or like a bake of some kind. I'm not sure, but I want to do something like that. And then I just want to spend like a cozy evening in the apartment, put an ambiance on, just really set the tone for the holiday season. I just want to get in the holiday spirit. That's really the main thing that we're going for today. So yeah. <laughs> so basically first thing on the docket, we are going to go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods because there is, or maybe Marshalls. I don't remember what there is. There's like a little shopping complex where I have a few just all in one place. So we're going to start there. We're going to see what we find. And then um, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Without further ado, let's go get in the holiday spirit. <laughs> It's already almost 4 p.m. So I walked by with less than I thought I was going to, but honestly, that's okay because I feel like this year specifically, I'm trying really hard to only buy things that I love because I feel like I have a bunch of things in my possession that I like, don't love, you know? I'm making concerted effort to ask myself, do I think I'll still like this a year from now? If the answer is no, I don't let myself buy it. So there were so many things at TJ Maxx specific, or at, where, where was I? <laughs> Home Goods specifically that I was obsessed with in the moment because they had bows on them and they were really cute but for me i feel like i'm just buying into the trend you know so we don't we don't need to be doing that we don't need to be doing that that means that i walked away with a lot less than i thought i was going to but i still think the things that i got are gonna be nice little additions i'm very excited so first things first let me show you two things that my roommate and i actually got when i went to target last week i think this year target is doing these like little ceramic houses building things i know a lot of people do like little christmas villages like on a smaller scale but isn't this not the cutest thing you've ever seen this in particular i feel like is worth 
bit, something that is timeless and that you will reuse year to year. Like everyone always uses their Christmas Village pieces. So very excited you've gotten this. It's so cute. And then I specifically, like I said, I feel like my room just gives summer, like even like looking at it, in this viewfinder like I know that's a green pillow and this is a red blanket something about this whole ensemble we've got going on here is giving very much spring summer vibes and again maybe it's the vibrancy of this painting situation I don't know but I got this pillow I have been very into quilted things lately and I actually want to learn how to quilt myself but I don't have the materials nor the skill quite yet to make myself a pillow at the moment so I saw this and I felt like I had to get it however this and this do not go together actually at all and honestly when I bought this cute little fall blanket I wasn't expecting it to be like the throw blanket on my bed I more just wanted something cute and cozy to take with me into the living room when I go in there so this just kind of happened by default I do want to swap this out for the time being just for a little more muted Christmassy vibe you know so that's what we got on our first Target trip like last whenever we went and this time first things first candles it was buy one get one 50% off Nordic pine and berry I'm not like obsessed with the smell I'll definitely be burning it but I more so was thinking shelf trinket I was kind of thinking these could go on there as little accents this is pumpkin bourbon honestly one my favorite candle smells of all time. I wasn't gonna get any more because it feels like more of a fall scent than a Christmas scent, but I walked over to that candle section. It was the first thing I smelled and I was like, I hear I need it. So two little candles in matching little votives. They're very like iridescent and cute. So I think that will be a good addition to the bookshelves. And also this is functional where it doesn't feel like I'm just buying trinkets just to buy them. You know, I also got this gingerbread house mug. Rationale, I don't have any Christmas mugs. And I have gotten back into the habit of making coffees at home. So I needed one. Also the detailing on this is so cute. It actually looks like there's icing on it. Adorable. I'm very, very into ceramic things as you will need to see probably. So this was the only mug in their selection that I liked and I loved it. So I'm home with her. <laughs> this is kind of like a random thing I feel like because it doesn't look particularly Christmassy. It's just a white star but we put away our we have like a little um throw pillow for our couch which is a green couch that has like a peach on it and we put it away because it felt very summer. So this feels like a good little substitute just for the time being. Simple cute little addition just to have a little more dimension on the couch. Don't really have much to say about her. <laughs> and then lastly from Target I did go ahead and um purchase the cinnamon bun bookstore <laughs> as you saw. This was the main thing that I was going for. I knew that there was one out the Christmas tree farm one I think that's the one that just came out and that was more so the one that I was going for but then I read the backs of both of them and this one specifically seems so much more up my alley the Christmas tree farm one was giving very much Hallmark movie which I feel like all of them kind of are in a way you know she hates Christmas she buys a Christmas tree farm in a small town she gets snowed in with a guy that loves Christmas love story ensues kind of like in a short period of time whereas this one is about a cute little bookseller in a cute little small town finds a secret message hidden in a book in the cinnamon bun bookstore. As more secret codes appear between the pages, she decides to follow the trail of clues. She just needs someone to help her out. So then, we're just an outgoing fisherman, Noah, who's always up for an adventure, accompanies her on this little scavenger hunt, secret code mission type thing to figure out what's going on. That is so much more up my alley, even if it is still like cute, fluffy, lighthearted Hallmark vibes. I think I will enjoy this so much more than Christmas Tree Farm specifically. There are a few more holiday books that I definitely want to give a try this year because I only read one last year, I think. So I want to try to get to like maybe two three four I don't know we'll see because like I do still have so many regular books that I want to get to as well before the end of the year and time is really slipping away from me but this one seems really cute and I want to be in the loop I want to know if I like Miss Lori Gilmore's writing considering everyone at the pumpkin spice cafe in fall and I want to know if I want to pick that up next fall so yeah, that's the only book I got but it felt it felt right you know <laughs> that was everything from Target and then obviously I also went to Home Goods. honestly was in there for longer than I should have and I picked up so many things that I ended up putting back because again I was like do you need this and the answer was no just kitchenware is just always where they'll get me so having said I walked away with this little I don't know what you call it this little pot thing specifically because they had a bunch of them that were very Christmas themed advertising specifically being for baked brie Okay, I don't know if y'all have had baked brie before. That's one of my favorite things that I discovered last year. I haven't had it since last year. So I did get one of them, but I made sure to get just a classic red because even though that is very fun and festive for like this time of year, I can also continue to use it year round. You know, if I wanted to make baked brie in the summer, I could throw it in this red one. I guess I could throw it in a Christmas themed one too, but you know what I mean. So I did get this. And honestly, I think this might be one of the things that I make tonight in my little cozy night in. I still have to go to the grocery store. So 
we'll see but we got her then i also got this salt and pepper set it's a little santa hat and a little present but it has a pink bow and little stars on it i'm very into the ceramics right now i'm very into the ceramics right now and i feel like salt and pepper shakers are just like a cute little functional thing that you can have out seasonally and usually home goods tj maxx marshalls has cute ones so i'm excited to put them out okay and then lastly i got a throw blanket i had been looking for one to put at the foot of the bed to replace the tomato one for the time being however i don't know if you can tell they're not the same color green at all <laughs> i thought this was more blue tone so really debating returning this i'm gonna hang on to it right now i'm gonna try laying it on the bed before i take tags off and just see if they're far enough apart that it works but it was definitely a little bit of a mistake <laughs> on my end so a little unfortunate but that's okay <laughs> so that's the damage that i did i'm feeling pretty festive i was listening to christmas music in the car while i was driving they were playing christmas music in every store that i went into the amount of times i heard the conversation it feels too early for christmas people are already doing christmas you know what i understand however you gotta get used out of it while you can you know what i mean like if you're gonna decorate you gotta do it with enough time to enjoy it yourself you're not decorating for the sake of decorating you're decorating so that you can be happy in your space you know so i don't think it's too early i don't think it's ever too early that's my two cents <laughs> anyways Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put out various items we have gathered today. Just kind of see the full effect that we have going on right now. And then I think we're gonna head to Trader Joe's to get some groceries, partially for the week and partially just for a meal situation tonight. And then we will get cozy for the rest of the evening. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> going to go ahead and make my wish lists for Christmas mostly just for my parents because I'm ask for one every year so I'm gonna make one for her and then I'm also going to make a version of purely bookish stuff for bookmas purposes so keep an eye out for that but I'm gonna cozy up in here I already have my ambient light going on my candles lit up there a Christmas ambiance on the TV my PJs on obviously and I just ate really good soup the soup was really good if you were wondering but yeah, so that's the plan at least for the next little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and then I think I'm going to hunker down and I'm currently still reading One Dark Window but I would really really like to finish it if at all possible tonight so I think I'm going to cozy up in bed now that we've got the vibes right in here and some of that this evening. So I'm gonna do my wish list first and then I'm gonna get reading. So it's been such a fun holiday spirit today and now I'm like ready for it to already be Christmas. Um, but also not because I still have to get gifts for everyone. So, but I'm really, really excited for this season and for Bookmas. Okay, I'm gonna make my wish list now. <laughs> 